The dustbin men. The dustbin men, P619-7, edited. 15 seconds. Malcolm, number four, gang. Morning. Muggeridge, number five, gang. No relation. Morning. You're new, aren't you? Brand new and untouched by human hand, laddie. Name? Llewellyn, number three, gang. Thank you. Morning. Eric Llewellyn. Thank you. I have a middle name as well. Oh, really? A Welsh one. Oh, that's very nice. It means, at the end of the valley by the streams, a little cottage with a yellow thatched roof on that keeps falling in, so mind your head. I can't remember. I tell it to you in Welsh, but if I get one little word wrong, it means, excuse me, constable, your flies are undone. Oh, Moses. No, every three then. He's in number three gang as well. Weekend? One? Is that all it was? Oh, well. May I see you again next weekend? Now, what have we to learn to be in life, darling? Grateful. And what not to be? Greedy. And how often is it your turn? Every third weekend, except when it falls in Christmas week, so you can take your wife to see Ken Dodd. Right. <laughs> Bob You the new inspector? Yeah. Well, your mouth's open. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Who are you? Who the hell are you? I asked first. See, Petty Cheese and Egg. I'm the leader of number three gang. And Nobel Peace Prize winner 1968. Yes, would you kindly make entrance into the office a moment? Thank you. We can't be in lumber already. We haven't had time to terrorise him yet. Perhaps our record gets passed on from inspector to inspector and to the thousandth generation thereof. Fret not, brethren. That'll sue Sean Bloody Delilah, who's boss. He's not Bloody Delilah. The last one was Bloody Delilah. Now recuperating at the Southport Convalescent Home for gentle women. <laughs> He's an inspector, isn't he? They're all Bloody Delilahs as far as I'm concerned. Were you going to say something? No. You bloody were. I wasn't, and don't swear. What were you going to say? The plot thickens. Well, don't. I wasn't going to. Now, before you say so much as a Chinese dicky bird, friend, the facts of life. One, I've emptied more dustbins than you've had hot flushes. Two, <laughs> it's against my religion to put the welfare of any inspector before the welfare of my lads. One for all, all for one, me and the lads. Friends, colleagues, brothers, me and the lads. Yes, well, tomorrow morning I have to attend a meeting, or in the modern idiom, and perhaps more appropriately, a muckin. <laughs> yes, well, it's in the Borough Surveyor's office. I wonder if you would mind acting as Deputy Inspector in my unfortunate absence. You what? Well, I'm sorry to inconvenience you thus in my first week, but would you mind taking charge of the office tomorrow morning? Me? Well, you are the senior refuse collector. Well, it's just for one morning. <laughs> It's deserting the lads, though. Oh, but only for five or six hours. It's like asking Michael Foote to take the Queen's corgis for a walk. Ah, oh, yes, well, in that case, of course, I'd better find somebody else to... No, 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 no. If I've been called, I know my duty. To you, to the depot, to the muck-disposing public of this fair city. But the statements you were just stating, as stated... I suppose I... it had to come. <laughs> the mantle of responsibility, the burden of office, the challenge of leadership. It's 1940. 
all over again. No, it's not. It's 1970 for the first time. I'll do it. Ah, Jeez, an egg, you wouldn't. Fret not, brothers. We're bound to. You'll be one of them. Not inside, Eric. Things will be just the same between us. I won't change. I wouldn't. I couldn't. He bloody has. I an egg. Have you clocked on yet? But I haven't got to the window yet. Look at a piggy motorbike. <laughs> Twist. <laughs> Stick. Very <laughs> 21. Stay, mate. Ja. What's this then? Free and easy night of the Baghdad Doss House to retired Nancy boys. Where's the funeral? Here, if you don't get your backsides airborne. Has he started a formation dancing team? He might have had bad news. A United supporter once went funny after City won the cup. He sat on top of Queen Victoria's statue in his underpants eating embossed wallpaper. Right. Name. Eh? Name. You know me bloody name! Depot regulations, paragraph 12, when clocky on state name and gang number. Name. Shirley Bassett. Gang number. <laughs> And that'll do me clocking off and all, I'll see you. Where are you sloping off to? London! West Ham v City, evening kick-off. Off the blues! What about dustbin? Up them and all. <laughs> I'm going to Kendall's Betty department for the day. Have a good kip. They've no sales ladies here. We'll be safe. I'm going to the TV department with my man to look at test cards. In colour. <laughs> sir. Pardon? All inspectors are addressed as sir. Oh. And what if he doesn't? Yeah, what if he doesn't? He's fired. Oh, we ignore him, Mary. Hey, couldn't fire a pig in pop gun. Oh. <laughs> Winston. Yes, madam. You're fired. And there's your P-45 to prove it. <laughs> Not bothering with the bin itself, then. Pardon? Just emptying the lid, like. Oh. My heart just isn't in it. No. Even though it is peaceful without Winston burbling about city. A cheese and egg used to call me Eric me flower in the old days. Our old mate turning into a bloody Delilah. My best friend. The best friend I ever had. Next to Elwyn. Who the hell's Elwyn? Elwyn Toshak. <laughs> oh. Who the hell's Elwyn Toshak? My best friend at school. No. He could wee right over the top of the bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, oh, well. Get grafted, I suppose. Ooh. Ooh, well. I wish I'd stopped in bed the weekend. I thought you did. <laughs> That's not what I meant. What are you doing here? Diving for oysters, you great butter. We always do this street Tuesday morning. Cheese and eggs reorganise the round. You're now supposed to be on the face of your Oak Street and Charity locality. <sighs> Good old cheese and egg. We've just done this gang's work. Oh, heck. We've got twice as much to do now. And only the two of us to do it. Oh, heck. And in half the time. And if you say, oh, heck again, I'll set fire to your leg. Oh. Your tea is piggin' served, sir. I suppose I can treat myself to a two-minute tea break. True, it'll go with that three-hour when you just had piggin' Mussolini. Did you say something with that toothless gob? I was singing. Selections from her are sung by John Anson. <laughs> by hell it's all go. Making top-level policy decisions. Organising. Grasping the broad view of muck in its full municipal context. Ah, Mrs. 23 Valletta Street. Yes? Ah, oh, we've just had a message from our depot, for want of a better word, Inspector, to deliver you a new bin. Oh, no. I'll finish up under Dr. Gilmore again. Didn't you really offer a new bin? Yes. Oh, and I've regretted it. I've ruined that phone call. Hey? Put it with the others. I think our depot, for want of a better word, Inspector, has made a slight mistake. It's stopping the sunlight from getting into my kitchen. 
My granddad sat in there thinking what has been declared. <laughs> Your lunch hour lasts for 30 minutes. 30 minutes means 30 minutes, so watch it. See, Betty, <laughs> I warned you what? Sorry. I'm not hungry. I'm not. I can't see the name stood in front of a mirror, giving a speech. Who, the Alto? Security Council at United Nations. And when he finished, he started clapping. He sent number four and number five gang both to board to see a terrace at the same time. They crashed head on outside the court funeral parlour. <laughs> Andy, really? He used to look after me in the old days. He showed me how to strike a match on my bum. <laughs> and how to drink a pint in one go and then how to be sick. He took me to New Brighton one August bank holiday and lent me his Billy's Weekly Liar to put on my head when it rained. He used to call me Eric, me flower, and be my friend. Now I hate him. Worse than me, ma'am. All right, don't stand up. And not in your leisure time. There's no need to show respect for your superiors in your leisure time. Your leisure time is your own. Enjoy it. Right, back on the wagons, another day to bring tomorrow. <coughs> <coughs> it's a bad cough, that cheese egg. You want to take something for it? I believe potassium cyanide's very good. <laughs> back on that chariot, sweetheart. We've only just got in, thanks to you. True. Bloody true. I'll make a note of it. Thank you. And if it happens again, I'll dock your wages for skiving. Boom! <laughs> and that is the situation as I, uh, as I, uh, see it. See it. Cousins. Again. Brothers. Tom. In that case, I'll, I'll convey your decision to the management. Convey your decision to the management. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you give the speech yourself instead of telling Brother Eric what to say? Because if there's victimisation afterwards, Brother Eric will be fired instead of me. Good thinking, Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you men on your pigging wagons? Cos we're on pigging straight. <laughs> what? No need to swear. Sorry. You can always appeal to us as reasonable men to make a gesture. I appeal to you as reasonable men to, to make a gesture. Ta. Now. <laughs> <laughs> The dustbin men, P619, stroke 7, part 2, take 1. Barbito. <laughs> I can't tell what they say is about Dixie. Or about this depot being a clearing house for contraband from Istanbul. Have another. Whence then did they come? The last inspector bought them in bulk. He was on 94 a day at the finish. I don't know why. Good oh, cheese and egg. This entire episode passeth understanding. I leave a thriving depot for six hours and I return to a ghost town where even the poltergeists are on strike. 
How is your mucky? I'm not as mucky as yours, evidently. I hope you didn't upset them. You're one of them again now. Yes, that's true, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Well, all right then, come on. How did it happen? Oh, without wishing to contravene that cleansing depot practice, do you mind if I tell you the truth? It might help to get me off the pheno barbiton. I think you upset them. But I was miles away. I was dunking digestive biscuits and soapy coffee with a butter surveyor. You and what you stand for. All inspectors. Now, if you were to let them off early on Fridays with an extra ten bob for the leader of the gang... Jeez, get them back on the bins. Tell them I, I'll convey their demands to the chairman of the cleansing committee as soon as he's back from Honolulu. <laughs> oh, oh, which pub are they in? They're not. Pardon? Not them. Oh, they must be. I mean, I think it's laid down by the TUC. All men on strike go and sit in pubs. Not dustbin men. What's the record for this old lad? <laughs> what did you do it in last Sunday? I didn't go. Right. <laughs> hey, up. Prilinikas rides again. <laughs> Hello, lads. Lads, it's me. Your mocker. Good old cheese and egg. Who's winning? Playing golf, are you? You two ain't me flower. Excuse me, dustmen are not allowed in this club. What the hell are you? Unemployed, with our names down at the Labour Exchange for vacancies in the Bank of England. So, bog off! <laughs> I thought I heard human footsteps. You're not a mirage, are you? Why? What have you got against them? What's your name? Matt Busbeck. What's the charge? Oh, the one conscientious man in the depot. The one loyal, selfless bastion of public service. The one loyal, selfless what of public service? Bastion. If a Crystal Palace supporter called me that, he might very well end up as the most interesting case in medical history. Look, my lumber or what? In a state of grace. The one man who returned to work. Oh? Look, would you believe me if I said the reason I'm here is I got chucked off to train at rugby for carving Colin Balfour King on the Buffy Bar counter? <laughs> <laughs> and I've come back to stuff this rat club cheese neck big an omelet. I'm having like a good laugh. You don't believe me, do you? I'm like a man with a sense of humour. So do I. Ha! So I came to work here in the first big in place. <laughs> 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 Now, lads, hey, two hundred and one. There's another walking stick. Well, you tried all the clubs. Why didn't you try the bag? <laughs> lads, fellow workers, friends and colleagues. I'd have equaled a club rotten record, but for you, two hundred and two. <laughs> I'll let you off early on Fridays. I'll let you keep your share of the tips. I'll start buying the occasional round when we go out for a pint. I'll shoot myself if you like. Done. Done. <laughs> we'll raise the scarlet banner high. Beneath the shade we'll live or die. The lead will always pinch and traitors here. We'll keep the red flag flying here. By hell, it's good being together again, lads, isn't it? Isn't it, ain't me, Flower? Go without Winston, isn't it? No, what you all about football and City and Colin Bell? I, I can hear the birds singing for the first time. Speak to me. No, you've been sent to Nottingham. <laughs> Miguel. Oh. Ta. It's only human nature what I did. Take you lot, for instance. You terrorise cats. Cats terrorise mice. Mice terrorise women. Women don't terrorise nothing, though. 
Yes, they do. Bloody men. <laughs> Everyone tries to come it over someone else giving up a chance. It's dog eat dog, isn't it? And you should know. <laughs> if you were made into a pedigree Dalmatian bloodhound just for one morning, you'd be the same. It's human bloody nature. <laughs> Will you? Certainly dream about if that's what you want. Anything. All right, you're melting the leather. <laughs> Excuse me, these gentlemen want to know if you've emptied number 17's bin. Not yet. He says not yet. Well, tell him he is supposed to be doing this side. It is his lousy functioning life. He says you are supposed to be doing that, son. It is your lousy functioning life. Tell him I've got things on my mind. He says he's got things on his mind. Tell him he'll have something else on his mind in a minute. Like a damn great dustbin to get your finger out. <laughs> How was that? Perfect. Bloody Delilah snooping. They do six months with the Russian secret police, you know. He says it's bloody Delilah snooping. They do six oh, months... Oh, bog off, it's a feeling old bag. <laughs> I should have got what you were after. Lads. We mustn't fall out amongst ourselves. For the monkey shall inherit the earth. They are our natural enemies. We're... We're brothers. True. Very true. I am sorry I was cheeky cheesing egg. I'm sorry I gave you a cause out of my flower. Well, don't start kissing each other. It's like Winston's Ponzi team when they fluke a goal. We'll never hear anything about City again. It's a beautiful thought, Eric. You could say it to music. I might miss Winston, but not his team. Just seeing how your labours are progressing. Oh, fret not, sir. I'll soon get them mobile. They haven't our sense of responsibility. Oh, cheers, Nick. Sir? Now, yesterday, when you took charge of the office, a whole treasure chest of interesting things happened, including two wagons trying to climb up each other in Burdessier Street, one housewife receiving 64 new bins and 63 housewives none, and one wagon finishing up on the Fleetwood Ferry to the Isle of Man and a general strike. <laughs> now, the only thing that your refuse collectors didn't do was collect refuse. I shall therefore be out all tomorrow morning, getting things back to normal. Nice move. I like the thinking behind it. Mm. Therefore, I shall need an acting deputy in the office. Naturally, sir. Yes, in my opinion, there's only one man for the job. Naturally, sir. If you could see your way to filling that cigarette box on the desk, I'd... Uh... Not you. Not me. The only conscientious man in the depot. Do I know the gentleman? Matt Busby. <laughs> well, not the actual, actual inspector, madam. Uh... More of your acting pigging deputy, Inspector. Uh, no, madam. I don't imagine number three gang has emptied your dustbin. I happen to have sent him on a special job for a couple of hours. Something I've wanted to do for years. Because they pigging well deserve it, the lousy pigs. Yes, it is lovely. With no Winston burbling about city. Sitting, watching an empty bloody pitch. I'd sooner even be working. Winston said it was revenge for the good of our souls and to show us who's boss. So get cheering. Up the pigging blue. <laughs>
dustbin men. The dustbin men, P619-7, edited. 15 seconds. Malcolm, number four, gang. Morning. Muggeridge, number five, gang. No relation. Morning. You're new, aren't you? Brand new and untouched by human hand, laddie. Name? Llewellyn, number three, gang. Thank you. Morning. Eric Llewellyn. Thank you. I have a middle name as well. Oh, really? A Welsh one. Oh, that's very nice. It means at the end of the valley by the streams, a little cottage with a yellow thatched roof on that keeps falling in, so mind your head. I can't remember. I tell it to you in Welsh, but if I get one little word wrong, it means, excuse me, constable, your flies are undone. Oh, Moses. No, oh, heavy breathing. He's in number three gang as well. Weekend? One? Is that all it was? Oh well. May I see you again next weekend? Now what have we to learn to be in life, darling? Grateful. And what not to be? Greedy. And how often is it your turn? Every third weekend except when it falls in Christmas week so you can take your wife to see Ken Dodd. Right. <laughs> Bother. You're the new inspector? Yeah. Well, your mouth's open. 